real quick here, I have a dome and a back plate combined in here. And a lot of times it's like, how do I get the angle? I love personally using the back plate match. So I'm gonna do that and show you how I go about do that, doing that. I'm gonna turn the model off because it gets in my way sometimes. If I go to camera, match back plate, I usually do two point perspective, but of course you can do three point. And what I'm gonna do here is I am going to find lines to put these X and Z lines on. And this is gonna help me uh, get the, the focal length that I need for this particular camera. I try to stay away when I can, away from the ground um, when doing these, because even though we do have lines, um, I don't know how this ground was laid. Um, so if these were done at a diagonal, those lines would be, um, would be off and you won't get the right um, uh, camera. So I try to find solid objects inside the back plate that I know are true. And luckily if these buildings are, they, they, sh they should be true, uh, <laughs> true rectangles and squares, otherwise the building would fall. Uh, but anyways, so this is the first thing I do. And now I'm gonna turn my car back on in my ground. So it looks like we are at about a 25 focal length. If I go to my library and look at this particular back plate, which is this one, it says my focal length is 22. So I'm off by a few degrees, but, um, but that's okay. I mean, this, this is really close enough. So now, how do I place this car in this scene without ruining the camera? So the first thing I'm gonna do is what, what type of shot do I want for this? Um, so we're just gonna do a, a front three quarter, we'll say like this, but I want this car pushed back into the scene. Um, before I set my camera and before I say okay over here, I go to absolute and now I'm gonna move this vehicle into the scene. So under my X, it's at negative 300 some, I'll go negative 400. And now that's pushing my car back into the scene. And then if I go to my Z, we'll say negative 200. Wrong way, negative 400. 500. So that's pushed in the scene. The car looks a little bit small. That's where I go to my Y, and I'm just gonna move this car up a little bit. So let's see what 80 does. Let's just say that's the, uh, the angle I want. So what's important here is I'm moving this car after I set my perspective for my angle. I don't go in here. Let me save this real quick. I'm gonna hit okay and hit save. What's important here, all right, cool. Let me go back into this. Once I set these lines down, I'm not going in here and moving the car this way, trying to get it front and back. How I'm moving the car is through my absolute, because I want to be able to keep my perspective. So as this car gets closer to the camera, that's when you're gonna get this, you know, this weird look to the vehicle. But as this car is being pushed into the scene, that's when the car should start flattening out and make it look um, fit into the scene that you want. Um, so that's really important when using the backplate match is you, you get the, uh, the, uh, the angle first and then move your car in your scene through position. Um, I know I went over a lot of stuff today and it's already almost an hour and we should probably have some questions and answers. Um, so uh, I think I'm done for now and I'm ready for any questions if anybody has anything.